my first scene on Emmerdale, I'm in a towel. <laughs> That's... Make us some chips, will you? Seeing as I'm starving and homeless. I don't know if the viewers will know if I'm her son or her lover. It's kind of a bit ambiguous, it's a bit weird, but um, it will soon become apparent that I am her son, not some half-naked plumber or something. Ryan, um, I'd, I'd like you to meet Mark. Mark, this is Ryan. Hi, Mum, Tommy, mate. Pleased to meet you. Awesome, mate, it's fantastic. It's, I, I'm absolutely over the moon to be here. But it's very, very weird. I mean, I, this, um, this show was on in my house every night when I was growing up as a kid, you know, so I've, I've seen it inside this, this pub that we're in now, you know, all the time, and now I'm sat here, you know, working in it. It's kind of it's kind of cool. It's crazy, but it's really cool. So it's definitely <coughs> happening then, you and this Mark. No clothes, no chips. I'm just, you know, I'm just checking him out, that's all, making sure he's OK. I don't want some no Mark messing my mum about, do I? Ryan is, um, he's an out-of-work mechanic. He's, uh, he comes up here to live with his mum, to kind of sponge off his mum, because she's, she's got a nice flat up here that Mark's, Mark's bought her. He, he doesn't have a dad, or doesn't believe he has a dad. Um, and he comes up and he, he sees that his mum's having a relationship with, uh, with, with Mark. He's very protective and he kind of warns Mark, you know, don't mess my mum about or you'll answer to the, to the big dog. So tell me, how, how did you guys meet all those years ago? You know, Ryan, I uh, really should be making a move. Oh. Well, let me buy you a pint. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Oh, come on, ten minutes max. Mum, you want to come? No, I think I'll give you two boys a chance to get to know each other. Maybe I'll join you in a bit. Ryan is played by lovely, lovely James Sutton, who I'm sure everyone knows from Hollyoaks. Uh, lovely actor. Um, and uh, he, in, in it, he, you know, my son has, you know, just got, gone through a tricky time. He's lost his job, he's lost his flat, so he's come, actually come home to live with me. Faye is a really lovely mum to Ryan. Um, they've only really had each other because Ryan's uh, dad obviously isn't around. So they're very, they've got a very close relationship. Uh, they're quite, quite a fun relationship. They're, quite, they're, they're, they're nice people together. They have a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. But um, if anyone, you know, if any, like with any son who, who you know, is a single parent, if anyone crossed your parent, you would, you know, you tell them what for. So there's a lot of that as well. She told you that my dad died when I was young. Yes. And I'm sorry. She's never really got over it. She deserves to be happy. So he's very, very keen to find out what Mark's intentions are, and also to find out what Mark's uh, what Mark's life's about. If he's if he comes from money, if you know if he can provide for Faye, or um, if he's got a family, if he's got a wife. Um, and Mark says he hasn't got a wife or a family. The lying little tow rag. So what's your story then? You divorced kids? Never really got around to it. Too busy with the business. Really. He believes his father died when he was when he was very young. It was an uh, interesting meeting him. Yeah, I hope to see you again. I don't think he particularly longs for a father figure, um, but um, yeah, all that all that might change. <laughs>